Hi, I'm Jim Toomey, and I draw the newspaper comic strip Sherman's Lagoon. In honor of Jacques Cousteau's 100th birthday, I'd like to spend the next 100 seconds talking about how he inspired me to do what I do. When I was a kid, the biggest event of my year, besides Christmas, was the Jacques Cousteau documentary on television. He brought his undersea world into our homes, and we all saw the ocean differently. It was as if the ocean were a dark room, and Cousteau suddenly came along and turned the lights on. But Cousteau wasn't just a talking head doing a nature show. He was a pioneer, a scientist, an inventor. He wasn't out there to entertain us. He was on a mission, and he'd let us all tag along. We all felt like honorary crew members of the Calypso as we followed him around the world. And he showed us the things that he loved, and he helped us to understand them. Through Cousteau, I came to know the ocean as a place populated by creatures that seemed more fictional than real. He showed me landscapes that were more bizarre than anything I'd seen in a science fiction movie. And in a small way, I hope that my comic strip inspires kids the same way that Cousteau inspired me. Jacques Cousteau came to my hometown one time when I was a kid. I took this picture of him. What impressed me about him when I saw him in person was that he seemed to have this boundless energy that was contagious. It's as if he was saying, there's so much to do and so little time to do it. That's why I think it's a little bit ironic that we came to know Jacques Cousteau by sitting in our living rooms watching him on television. Because for me, he represents the exact opposite of that. What one man can accomplish in a lifetime should be an inspiration for us all to watch less and do more.